and you know have fun with it when you're having fun so i've been solar loon or i am solar loon once again and i'm going to oh that's right so there's a, a um, thing right there right where that block is what you have to do is basically just like survive this by yourself i almost nailed it i almost I, first time i almost had it first time that was amazing okay so anyway um okay there we go cool yeah, so anyway, um, oh yeah, I was talking about Torque in the in the past time. I haven't used Torque in a pretty long time. Um, it's pretty crazy, because it's like, Torque came out, and then it's like, ah, that was my bad. Torque came out, and you know, there was other engines, like Genesis 3D, uh, Reality Factory, Unreal, and, and I don't even know if Unity was out, but like, Unreal was like a, an engine for like, you know, triple A game studios. That it wasn't for indie developers. It wasn't even. Of course, it wasn't free. That was. That's only been in the past like six months, three months, whatever. Um, I have to time this. Yeah, it's only been in the past like three months or whatever. But like only like triple A people could even like license the engine. Like it was. It was really costly and stuff. So it's crazy to think about like, just how much engines like changed and how much. Can I? Okay, I, I thought maybe I could stop fire with it. Um, it's crazy to think about just like how much engines have changed and like how much easier it is to make a game that even looks like, you know, way better than AAA games of 10 years ago. Like, you know, your average... <sighs> okay, I have very little complaints about this game, but if you're going to put something like in the upper right corner of the screen, don't put GUI in the same place. Like. Like, that was kind of the game's fault, a little bit. Just, just a tad, just a smidge, just a dash, just a just a cup. Uh, just a British cup, I don't, I don't even, a teacup. Just a wee cup of that was the game's fault. Because it's like, I'm, I'm, I can't see what's behind my golden skull little uh, icon. It's kind of a little, just a tad cheap. A little cheap, just a, just a smidge, just a, you know. Not very cheap, just, just enough. Yeah, see, I mean, it's like it's perfectly positioned to, to mess me up. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy to think about like how much more. Go. Oh, that was close. No. How much more, um, you know, accessible game game development is uh, for pretty much anybody with with any kind of choice of engine and nice try, nice try, but no, I'm not going out like that. Come on, what? Wind that back. Did I touch it? No, I didn't. Or, yes, I did, and I'm an idiot. Future Solar Loon, edit this part and just like, focus on the, the one and then cut out the other one, please. <sighs> Future Solar Loon, cut out that part where I asked you to cut the, all right. Past Solar Loon, please continue playing the game. No one cares. All right, so, I messed up. <laughs> just immediately, and I messed up. Okay, so yeah, it's it's crazy to think about just like how much more accessible game development is, and you can and that's the fun thing about game development is like at this point you can use pretty much anything you want. You can just say, oh, I, I like Python and I want to work with 3D. Okay, well you have a pretty good, you you have an option. Like back in the day, you would have had no option. Python like Pi game would have been like the only thing you could do, but now it's like, well, if you want to work with like pure OpenGL, you can work with. Um, like Pyglet, if you want to work with 2D, you have a ton of um, bindings to different like software, uh, game development um, uh, frameworks like SDL, SFML, or SEL2, SFML, um, Allegro, you know, lots of stuff like that. On top of that, you have Py Game, of course. Um, if you want to go with Lua, you have Love 2D. If you want to go with, you know, so many different choices. That was stupid of me. <laughs> so it's just it's a lot of fun to make games a lot more fun I think to make games now whereas it, it took a lot more dedication back in you know 15 years ago because you actually had to like learn things you actually had to like stick with it and that's why I probably didn't make many things is because it was a lot harder to just like make anything so it's it's fun to make games nowadays um, I, I should probably do a Q&A of some description like a QA Q&A video where I like ask people what they want to ask and then answer it in a video or something. That would be, I think, a fun little thing. But I treasure my anonymity. 
So I don't, ah, oh, come on. So I don't want to answer like, what's your social security number? I'm not going to tell you that. It begins with zero. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't want to answer like too personal stuff. But I do want to kind of, I, th I think, you know, a Q&A video is a valid, a, a good question or a good um, concept. Oh, so in case you didn't know, you can stop daggers by throwing knives at them. I've been doing it this entire time for the past like 40 minutes that I've been doing Let's Plays on this, and I never mentioned that. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm just gonna wait it out. And the top one, there it is. Throw. Throw. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta, I gotta get this done. I've been on this level for like the past nine minutes. How long has it been actually? Six minutes. All right. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta clear at least two levels. Come on. I'm Solar Loon. I make games. I, I don't just play games. I play games a lot. And then I make them on the side when I have the time and feel like it. And it's not too late. And I don't have anything else to do. And a game doesn't exist that carries my fancy. And a game that, uh, oh, come on, oh, I couldn't even finish my joke. My overly wrought and poorly planned joke. Okay, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun to make games, and it takes a lot less... Well, I, I guess that's kind of a thing, like... Is it bad that game that it takes more time and takes more focus to make games nowadays? Or, I'm sorry, less time and focus um, to make games? Because, I mean, you know, back... Back when you had to use a framework, you had to do everything. You had to make the engine, you had to do you know, everything. If you're working with Pygame or if you working, were working with you know, SDL or whatever. Um, nowadays, you, you have so many different options and there's so many different ways to make games. It's like, it can be um, kind of, a, a, not disruptive, but kind of a, whoa, massive slowdown right there. Um, I must have a computer problem. <laughs> Did you want to defragment your drive right now, Joey? Uh, well, I'm, you might as well know, my, I, I call myself Joey. <laughs> that is my actual, like, um, not my first name, but that's my nickname. So anyway, um, yeah, so, there we go, there we go, okay, so yeah, um, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I think that it's something else. Come on! I didn't have this much trouble the first time I, I played this game. Like, I, I I got through this level pretty quickly, so I don't know why I'm having so much trouble now. Um, yeah, so I think that maybe having more options, I guess it's just trying to talk and play well. It's just like wreaking havoc on my ability to talk and play well. I can't talk and play well while I'm trying to talk and play well. That's probably what it is. <laughs> so, gah, okay, cool. All right, let's safe zone, let's go. Yeah, so... Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Whew! Yes! Okay, so... No, no, no. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to you? Okay. <laughs> Whoo! Ha-ha! <laughs> Lost levels. I don't even know what that is. Oh. Well, that's it. No. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish this off. This is like a little cinematic level. There's not much to it. Um... You know, I'll pick up the discussion out where I was kind of rambling next time because I don't think I can wrap it up. Well, I mean, it's there's not much to wrap up. It's pretty simple. It's just uh, you know, when when it takes more time and effort to make games, people might succeed more because only the people who have dedication and and have the ability to see their vision through actually make things. Whereas nowadays, you know, with the likes of you know, Unity coming with a lot of pre-made stuff, UDK, you know, pre-made shaders, a entire engine with lighting and all that stuff, and you don't have to actually make it yourself, then it's like, well, you kind of take it for granted. That's a theory. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying, uh, you know, pre-made engines are bad. I'm just saying, you know, when it's pre-made, you kind of don't really know how much work it goes into it, I think. All right, well, that's it for this part. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar Loon. Next time, we're going to head into this level.
So yeah, this music is awesome. Thanks for watching. You have fun. See ya.